Before beginning your PCR protocol, make sure you have enough time to pipette and are not rushed. It is helpful to set aside needed primer dilutions as well as make the qPCR plate sheet and calculate your master mixes the day before your run. The most important thing in qPCR is precision and cleanliness, so please wear gloves and make sure your work area is RNase free. You can do this by using the spray or the bottle found near the sink. RNase should be applied to all surfaces in the work area, as well as pipetters or writing utensils that will be used. You will be pipetting your reactions into a 96 wall plate. It is therefore essential that you create a plate map. A plate map can be printed from the Williams Lab Google Drive. The map should be labeled with information that allows you to recall exactly what components are in each reaction well. The initial step of the qPCR protocol using Brilliant 2 CyberGreen qPCR Master Mix is to add 12.5 microliters cyber dye, 1 microliter of the forward and reverse primer, 9.5 microliters of molecular biology water, and 1 microliter of cDNA template together for each reaction well. Each specific reaction should be prepared in triplicate to account for pipetting error. Non-template controls should also be included and should be prepared in triplicate. The total amount of cyber dye used should be recorded on the dye bottle. This allows for your colleagues to know how much dye remains. It may be helpful to create a master mix to avoid pipetting small quantities. If different cDNA samples must be tested, a master mix without cDNA can be prepared. It is also important to keep the reaction ingredients cold. Thus, do all your work in an ice bucket and avoid exposing any of your materials to heat. The second step in the qPCR procedure is to add the reaction mixes to the 96 wall plate. If a master mix without cDNA was prepared, then the master mix should be pipetted into the wells first, followed by the cDNA sample specific to the reaction. Bubbles can be hugely problematic, so be very careful not to make them while pipetting. Additionally, materials being pipetted into the 96 wall plate should be gently mixed by pipetting up and down several times. When you are about halfway done pipetting your qPCR reactions, Go to the qPCR machine and turn on the lamp. The lamp requires about 20 minutes to warm up, so this will save you time down the road. After everyone has pipetted their samples, one person must cover the plate with optically clear tape or caps, as demonstrated by Nick. At this point, you should take a look at all of your reaction wells. If the liquid is not at the bottom of all of the wells, use the qPCR plate spinner to get the liquid to the bottom. It helps if the spinner is stabilized against a hard surface like the edge of the bench before spinning. It is now time to use the qPCR machine. If you have never used it before, go see Larissa. Bring your qPCR plate to the qPCR machine on ice. Log into the computer and open the MX Pro qPCR software application on the desktop. Choose the Cyber Green option when prompted. Highlight all wells that contain reaction materials. Select unknown well type and check the cyber box. Place the qPCR plate in the Stratagene MX3000P machine as demonstrated. Select Run on the top right menu bar. Check the Turn Off Lamp at End of Run box. Press Start and choose where to save your results. The qPCR machine will take approximately two and a half hours to run.